Hello guys again and welcome back to another video. Today we've got this Huawei Wi-Fi 6 Plus AX3 quad-core model. I'm going to show you how to set up it from the browser, PC or laptop. Then I'm going to test the Wi-Fi speed 2.4, 5 GHz under the Wi-Fi 6 Plus technology, 5 meters and 15 meters away from my main router. Copy some files to my server testing the internet speed and downloading some files. At the end of this video you can check the unboxing and the setup that I made from my smartphone for this router. Okay, here we are from my browser, from my PC. I need to log in to the Huawei uh, menu to see my router. And of course you can scan the QR code to download the AI Live app. Let's log in. This is the address you need to insert to your browser. And there we are. At the first look, we can see logout. You can choose your language. Huawei Wi-Fi AEX3. Home, my network. You are connected to the internet. Internet access mode, you need to choose. I am at the bridge AP. It's working like an extender my router. Unfortunately, I cannot see the settings to my app. I cannot uh, connect my router to the app uh, because I'm using this bridge AP. Huawei says I am hoping in the future it can change that. Of course, you can use other methods to connect to your uh, internet. DHCP, PPPoE or static IP. VLAN, custom one, two and save. We don't really need that. Let's go to home, my router. And here you can see some info for your router. Basic information, product, serial, software, etc., etc. IP4, IPv6, manage updates. Update your router software on a regular basis. Okay, local update, update now. You are already using the latest version. Okay, the latest version uh, was in 13, 12, 2020. Current version is that. You can auto update. Update time, you can schedule what is the time you want to update. I don't like to auto update. I need to see when my router is updating. Network settings, line IP address, and domain, DHCP server of our own. Virtual private network, IPTV setup, on or off. Okay. We don't need that. UPnP is on. Universal plug and play is enable computers on the LAN can request your router to auto perform port translation. Okay. Link and settings. You can form a link plus Wi-Fi network by connecting several devices that supports the link and function. Wi-Fi settings. Advanced Wi-Fi settings, we've got the 2.4 GHz network, you can choose the channel, auto, it is in 11, 1 to 13, mode, I am in AX mode, bandwidth, 20, 20, 40 or 40, 11 egg guard interval, sort, you need to put it on sort, invisible Wi-Fi, disable, enable, and this is on enable, 5G channels are auto now is in 44, and it goes to 64 mode again it is in ax this has to do with the wi-fi 6 protocols and the bandwidth we've got 20 40 80 20 40 80 megahertz and of course we've got and the 160 megahertz that is compatible this router sort and again long medium sort disable enable the invisible wi-fi and this is enable the wmm Wi-Fi access control. When a Wi-Fi access control is turned on, you can set Wi-Fi access to a black list or white list. I don't need that. Wi-Fi repeater. Uh, the Wi-Fi repeater lets you connect your router with another router to increase the Wi-Fi coverage in your home. I don't need that. Wi-Fi timer. You can set when to turn on, when to turn off your Wi-Fi. DDNS, Dynamic Domains Name Server, Security and Settings, Firewall is off, NAT Services, I don't need that, DMZ Host, a computer set as DMZ Host is 
totally exposed to the internet. Okay, we are off. System settings. Near field communication, NFC is a short range communication technology. Touch your smartphone with your NFC on, add your smartphone to the router and it will connect automatically. Change login password of network time. Backup and restore, backup your settings of your router and then you can restore them. Factory reset, you can reset your settings. Reconfiguring the router, the network configuration will be automatically fill it in for you. Okay, nice. Diagnostics, you can diagnose all that. Ping verification, button LED indicator, Wi-Fi. Developer option, debug. The router will collect debugging and diagnosing information to help resolve your issues. Critical updates, your device will automatically and install critical updates. It is recommended that you turn on this feature. Now, thank you. Application, reduce the power consumed by Wi-Fi 6 devices in sleep mode using target wake time technology. It is off, I'm okay. Powering of the primary router means the secondary router can only be managed through the web management page. Okay, let's go to my Wi-Fi. And here we can see we can push that and prioritize 5G. That means 2.4 and 5G are combined and 5G is selected when the signals are for the same strength. Disable to set band separately. I like it, disable it. And as we can see, this is a hybrid security. It's uh, from Huawei, very secure. Wi-Fi network password, the 5G Wi-Fi, of course, and back up your Wi-Fi. Uh, some Wi-Fi devices with earlier network adapter drivers, such as certain laptops with Intel network adapters, will use this network if they cannot discover the Wi-Fi 6 network. Nice. Wi-Fi power mode at max, of course, and save, save. And there we can see my devices are connecting 36. Total is about 46 devices. And from here, restart your router. <laughs> nice button. Well, guys, that was all about uh, how to set up your router from your browser. I think it's uh, more easy to do that. You've got more settings. Of course, you need to connect it um, your uh, PC to the router with the Ethernet cable, or you need to insert a Wi-Fi stick to your PC. Or if you've got a laptop, it will be more easy because your laptop it has a Wi-Fi. Well, I think it's time to move on for our test to see how it goes with the Wi-Fi speed. Okay, starting from my PC, connected through an Ethernet cable to my PC, checking my internet speed. This is my normal internet speed. Nice, and the upload, of course. Just to have an idea what you can expect and make a comparison with the others tests that I will do through the Wi-Fi speed. And again, we can see this is a very reliable uh, server. I'm downloading a file through the Ethernet cable to my PC. And it goes to 11 uh, megabits per second. The file is uh, near 700 megabytes. Very good downloading speed. And now I'm copying uh, files to my server from my PC. Of course, we've got a uh, gigabit Ethernet port, uh, this Huawei router. Very good speed. And next, I will do the test, all the tests for the Wi-Fi speed. It will test it from my Samsung Galaxy S20 Fee 5G Snapdragon Edition. 5 meters away, 5G, 2.4 GHz. We can see the 5G is the same as my regular speed. We've got uh, some uh, losing uh, on a 2.4. That's very normal. 2.4 has his limits. And of course, the upload uh, speed is the same. I'm doing the test uh, two times, just to be sure. And every time I phone, it has the Wi-Fi 6 Plus uh, technology. And now I'm copying some files to my server. 
5G it goes to 23 megabytes per second and the 2.4 it goes to 8 to 9 megabits per second and again 5G of course it is the best and now downloading some files from a very reliable uh, server it goes to the 5G 11 megabits per second and 2.4 it goes to uh, 8 megabits per second and next we've got uh, 15 meters away 5G 2.4 we can see 5G, it is near the same as uh, 5 meters away and of course on 2.4 uh, is dropping uh, at the half of the speed and again 2.4 has his limits, it's 50 meters away Download is near the same, doing again the test uh, two times nice results on 5G every time Wi-Fi 6 plus to my phone and now I'm copying files to my server 5G is dropping the speed it is about uh, 15 megabits per second and uh, 5 to 6 uh, megabits per second on a 2.4 uh, network 50 meters away again and Wi-Fi 6 and now I am downloading again a file through the reliable server and we can see it is uh, the same 11 megabits per second on 5G and 2.4 G is uh, near 5 megabits per second thumbs up for the 5G network under Wi-Fi 6 again well guys that was all about this Huawei router and the test you have seen the results thumbs up great test great results I'm very happy because now for days uh, I do have uh, 46 devices connected through, through the Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5G of course under the Wi-Fi 6 Plus technology and not even one time, not even one device has stopped working. I have made some tests uh, restarting the router 3 and 4 times uh, at these days and uh, all the devices has been connected so fast after 30 seconds that restart the router the devices has connected with no problem so fast I did have my TP-Link and oh my god 40 devices to the TP-Link it was a nightmare with this router I don't have any problem thumbs up great job 4 cores router if you want to buy it prefer the quad core router and not the dual core uh, router the differences for the cost are uh, so low I like the design, I like the antennas, the NFC that it has and you just tap it with your phone and connect it and of course you can uh, pair other routers with the H button and make a mess to your home very reliable uh, router if you've got uh, many smart devices to your home as I've got well I will see at the future if we will have any problems with so many devices connected to this router and I will leave down below to the description my thoughts if you need something to ask, please leave down below in the comments your thoughts. I will do my best to answer your questions. And with all that, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like or dislike my videos your choice. Share this video, you never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye-bye.